The following video provides information regarding a U.S. Border Patrol agent involved shooting on May 18, 2023, near Ajo, Arizona. CBP is committed to being a leader in law enforcement, accountability, and transparency. A portion of this incident was captured on multiple agents' body worn cameras. That footage is being released today in compliance with CBP policy and the May 25, 2022 Executive Order on Advancing Effective, Accountable Policing and Criminal Justice Practices to Enhance Public Trust and Public Safety. CBP began issuing body-worn cameras in 2021 and continues to expand their deployment nationwide. Body-worn cameras are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The camera angle prohibits viewers from seeing everything the agent or officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, there is a two-minute buffer of video without audio from prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an agent or officer does not immediately activate their camera. On May 18th, at approximately 9.04 p.m., the U.S. Border Patrol Tucson Sector Tactical Operations Center advised the Ajo Border Patrol Station that the Tono Odom Nation Police Department was requesting assistance from Border Patrol agents to respond to a shots fired call west of the Manager's Dam Village. The police department requested agents meet at the local recreation center prior to responding to the location. Manager's Dam Village is located within the Tono Odom Nation Reservation and is approximately 142 miles southwest of Tucson, Arizona. The Ajo Border Patrol Station transmitted a request over service radio for any available units to respond at approximately 9.06 p.m. Several agents responded, acknowledging the request for assistance. The following is a phone call from the Tono Odom Nation Police Department requesting assistance from the U.S. Border Patrol. United States Border Patrol Tucson Sector, can I help you? Uh, hi, this is from TLP. Yes, ma'am. Um, I have uh, officers, two officers heading to the village of managers, and we got a report of shots being heard. Um, they don't, well, there's, um, I guess that's threat made on a one on one from uh, somebody she has a restraining order against. They just he, they just know he lives on the west side of the rec center. So they're asking if you have anybody that can go with them to check in the area of the uh, west side of the rec center, they can meet at the rec center. Meet up at the rec center? And this is in yeah. the village of managers? Yeah, and managers. Yeah. Okay. 21 to 5. Okay, and you said the house in question, they have a restraining order against each other? Or somebody yeah. Has a, okay. I guess he went and reported that uh, that the girl, he, the ex-girlfriend was shot, her and her mom were shot yesterday. So now the girlfriend is saying maybe it's premeditated that since she keeps hearing shots fired and everybody keeps calling in the village, checking on her. So that's why they want, and I guess he does live in that area on the west side of the rec center. So she said he does have owner rifle and they had NATO contact with him yesterday, so they're going to try to check on him today okay. or right now to see if that was him shooting off the gun. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah, they can be a direct center. Okay, but so the actual report is shots being fired, correct? Yeah, everybody said they report they heard two, but nobody can pinpoint where it came from. They're okay. all coming from the west. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Following is U.S. Border Patrol dispatch relaying TOPD's request for assistance to agents in the field. Hey, just heads up. TOPD is running code. Hey, just got the phone with TOPD. They're requesting assistance out in the village of managers. If we have anybody available, they could assist them with a report of a shots fired call. Uh, they're wanting to know if we can uh, respond somebody to meet up with them on the west side of the rec center or actually meet up at the rec center, the house in question is going to be on the west side from the rec center and managers. 10-4, we got any units uh, available to respond to meet TOPD and managers at the rec center? We're team of heading down, I think. Uh, we going? We're in Guvo, so we'll just follow on south from here. 10-4, sounds good. That's you. Also one route. At approximately 9.27 p.m., 
agents transmitted over service radio that they had arrived at the recreation center with the police department. Agents coordinated with the police officer at the recreation center and were provided additional information. The officer advised agents that initial reports indicated shots had been fired in the vicinity of a named individual's residence west of their location. The officer requested agents follow him to the location at approximately 9.32 p.m. The following body-worn camera video was captured by one of the agents on scene at the recreation center. Shots fired, they said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, reported times three. Times three? Yeah. yeah. Are right, y'all ready? Uh, All right. Oh, uh, it's dark as fuck. All I can say is what? Agents followed behind the officer in their government vehicles for approximately 2 minutes and 17 seconds. The officer and agents arrived and parked their vehicles near the individual's residence at approximately 9.35 p.m. Responding agents and the police officer spread out while searching for the man. The officer and agents encountered an individual approximately 103 meters northwest of their parked vehicles outside of a residence at approximately 9.39 p.m. The individual threw an object towards the TOPD officer as he approached the structure which landed near his feet. The object was later identified by investigators as a machete in a sheath. Shortly after the individual threw the machete, he abruptly removed his hand, which was holding an object, from his jacket pocket and extended his arm at which point three agents discharged their weapons. After the shooting, a cell phone and cell phone case can be observed near the individual on the ground. The following body-worn camera videos will show the agent involved shooting. All three agents who discharged their weapons captured the shooting on their body-worn cameras. This video contains graphic content and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Want to watch that
A PA? Yo! See somebody just walk over here? Do you see him? Yo! Is that a PA just went over here? I don't know. Somebody over here? Motherfucker, dude. Watch out, bro, you. I thought somebody just ran this way. Pretty sure somebody ran this way. Put your hands up. Put that down. Put it down. Put it down. Get on your fucking face. Hey, put your, put your hands out of your fucking pocket. Get on your fucking pocket. Your fucking pocket. Cease fire. Cease fire. Shots fired. Shots fired. Ages code four so far. Shots fired. Let me see your hands out. Let me see your hands out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Give me a second. Hey, do not fucking move. Don't. Let me see your hands. Put your hands out so we can help you. Put your hands out so we can help you. Stand by, stand by. We're about to make contact. Hands up. Still got a gun in your hands. Hands up. Spread them out. Put your hands up. Spread them out! Put your hands out so we can help you! Hey, somebody go back and get my med kit, please. Put your hands out, bro! You're gonna get shot again! Put your hands out! Come on, man! We wanna help you! Let me jump on him. Put him out! Hey, watch the crossfire! Do not fucking move! Don't fucking move! Put your hands out! Don't fucking move! Shoot a gun! Give me one second. It's underneath him. Man. Yo, get a mega back. Get a med back. Hey, where's the firearm? Hey, we gotta get that firearm. Hey, go get a med bag. Hey, are they getting my med bag? Turn him the other way. Hey, subject in custody, roll the firearm. The following is body-worn camera video from another agent who discharged their weapon during the incident. The first two minutes were recorded during the buffer period and do not have audio.
Hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! Hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up right now! Oh, he just caught four so far. Shots fired. Let me your arms up! Spread your arms out! Watch the crossfire! Let me see your hands! Put your hands out so we can help you! Put your hands out so we can help you! Stand by, stand by! You still got a gun in his hand! Spread them out! Hands out! Spread them out! Put your hands out so we can help you! Hey, somebody go back and get my med kit, please! Put your hands out, bro! We can't help you, man. Put your hands out! Come on, man! We want to help you! Put him out! Hey, watch the crossfire! Watch the crossfire! Watch out! Watch fucking move! Put your hands out! Where's the gun at? Where's the gun at? We killed a gun! It's underneath him! Hey! Have you getting my bag? Yo, get a bag back. Get a bag back. Hey, yeah. secure. Where's the firearm? Can we get firearm? Hey, we gotta get that firearm. Hey, go get a med bag. Can I get my med bag? Turn him the other way. Hey, subject in custody, roll See on. See The following is body-worn camera video from another agent who discharged their weapon during the incident. The first two minutes were recorded during the buffer period and do not have audio. Put your hands out! Put your hands out right now! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Hey, he's got his hands up! Hang on, hang on! It's still in his hand! Still in his hand! Watch the crossfire! Watch the crossfire! Let me see your hands! Put your hands out so we can help you! Put your hands out so we can help you! Hey, stand by! Still got a gun in his hand! Spread them out! Hands out! Spread them out! Put your hands out so we can help you! Hey, somebody go back and get my med kit, please. Put your hands out, bro! We can't help you if you don't put your hands out! Come on, man! We want to help you! Put them out! Hey, watch crossfire! Watch crossfire! Watch out! Watch out! Put your hands out! Where's the gun at? Where's the gun at? Secure the gun! Give me one second. It's underneath him. Hey! Yeah. Are they getting my bag? No, my bag. Yeah. Hey, subject in custody. Hey, we gotta get that Roll. I'll hold your mess, please. Hey, are they getting my med bag? 
Hey, 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 Yeah. Hey, hey, roll them over, roll them over, roll them over, roll them over. Help, help me roll them over. Watch, watch, go this way. Roll them over, roll them over. How many times does he hit? I got an exit. I got an exit right here on the side. Hey, let me cut this off. Give me some lights, guys. I'll look for the rifle. Yeah, look for a firearm. Do it over here, dude. He threw the machete at us, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anybody else got shears with them? Break, break. We got one tribal member hit multiple times. You're getting him. stepped on. You're getting stepped on. They're already talking. Break, break. Be advised, we got one tribal member hit multiple times. We're really working on the individual right now. Hey, Alright, right, leave, it, leave it where it's at. Don't touch it. Where's the firearm? Do we have a firearm? Make sure nobody goes near that. Hey, help me cut the shit off of them, boys. We got gloves. You got gloves, boys? Where's I need I need to find the exit wounds and stuff. Look, I got one entry or exit right here on the side. All right. What else? Where's he else? Where's he hit? Where else? Anybody got latex gloves? Hey, somebody check for a pulse, please. He's still breathing. He's breathing, bro. He's breathing. <laughs> He's breathing, bro. He's breathing, right? Stay with me. Come on. What can you think? I need to find out where his wounds are so I can treat him. I got one right here on his left side. There's, and chest, and there's one on the left side. Thanks. I'm cutting everything off right now. I think he's hitting his lower extremity here. Yeah, he's hitting the leg. Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. Get that arm out. Hey, somebody check for a pulse, please. He's still, he's still breathing, dude. I just saw him right now. Oh, Look, another. Hey, he got hit again right here in his elbow. Hey, guys. It's fake, dude. Real fake. Let me see. It's fake. It's no pulse? Good. I don't he, feel a pulse. He was still Party? fucking gargling right now, hey, dude. Hey, give me a uh, blood sweeps. Yep, blood sweeps. Hey, guys, help me roll him that way, please. Agents continued to assess and treat the man's wounds for an additional two minutes and determined he no longer had a pulse and commenced CPR. At approximately 9.46 p.m., agents requested Air Life medical evacuation for the man, but were advised Air Life evacuation was not available due to inclement weather. Agents continued CPR until a Border Patrol emergency medical technician on scene telephonically contacted a physician at St. Mary's Hospital in Tucson, Arizona. The physician at St. Mary's Hospital pronounced the man deceased at 10.06 p.m. The Pima County Medical Examiner's Office assumed custody of the man's remains pending an autopsy. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? This is Agent U.S. Border Patrol. I am an EMT. Um, we have a shooting victim here. Uh, approximately four or five times hit, um, law enforcement involved. Uh, we've been doing CPR since 2146, no pulse, um, no breathing. Should we proceed with CPR? Where at? The vehicles, the vehicles, uh... Everybody got to stay back, okay, guys? Let us know if somebody's getting close, guys. You got somebody posted at the vehicles? I don't know. The vehicle was secure. There was a female yelling over there about the vehicle. Hey, uh... Somebody's got to go secure our vehicle. Got another guy. Uh, you want to back him up? Just go with him. You want to take him with you, with him, man? You have any issues, bro? There's an officer right here. 
We gotta control the, we gotta keep those vehicles secure, all right? Yeah. You doing security? Yeah. All right. You're good, you're good. You're good. How you doing, sir? This is a So, we just had a, a shooting here in uh, Managers, Arizona. Um, subject's been hit four or five times. I, we didn't count exactly. We've been doing CPR since 2146. No pulse, no breathing. Do we need more bodies out here for crowd control? Probably won't hurt. Considering all managers coming out now. Uh, the ambulance is still approximately 20 minutes, 30 minutes away, and we're the nearest hospital is an hour at least. God damn it. Call it 1006, 2206. Copy, sir. What was your name, sir? Good copy. Thank you, sir. Just continue, guys. Time of death, 2206. Just got off the phone with St. Mary's Medical Control. Dr. Called it. The decedent was identified as an adult male citizen of the United States and a member of the Tono Odom Nation. Pima County Medical Examiner's Office conducted an autopsy on May 19th. The Medical Examiner's Office will release information regarding the cause and manner of death at the conclusion of their review. Investigators recovered this sheathed machete that the individual threw towards the police officer at the scene. The incident is currently under investigation by the Tohono O'odham Nation Police Department and the Federal Bureau of Investigation and is under review by CBP's Office of Professional Responsibility. The investigation is still in the early stages. Once the investigation has concluded, CBP's National Use of Force Review Board will review the incident. CBP will share the results of the board review once it is complete. Links to this video as well as public statements about this and other incidents and key accountability-related policies and data can be found online at cbp.gov forward slash transparency.